Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about Windows 11 customization. And you know, when we're talking about Windows 11 customization, I think you already know that we're not talking about default Windows 11 customization because that is pretty limited. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about the new version of WinArrow Tweaker, which is a software that a lot of users know since the release of Windows 11, which allows you to customize, remove, or enable certain old panels or features from Windows 11, even after Microsoft completely overhauled some designs. So as I've said, this app got a new update, version 1.63. And of course, you're going to be able to get WinAero Tweaker if you want from the article below in the video description, or just search on Google WinAero Tweaker. Before starting anything, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. As I've said, you can just get WinAero Tweaker from their official page, winero.com and just get their latest version. After you install the software and you open it up, you're going to notice that it is a pretty basic software. It does doesn't have any interesting or fancy looks, but it does its job and that's the most important thing for me, I think. One of the changes in this version on 1.63 is that the app is now detecting the Windows version even if you are on version 24H2. So for example, here I'm on the latest build of Windows 11 24H2 on the release preview channel. One of the main things that was added is the new option to permanently enable the Windows 11 ribbon. So for those of you who don't know, this is the new ribbon that we have on Windows 11. A lot of users didn't like this because it replaces buttons, intuitive buttons with certain icons that are hard to get used to. While well, you can still enable the old ribbon if you want. And to do that, you can first of all launch Classic File Explorer with ribbon. If you want to see how that would look, and as you can see, this is the old ribbon, and you can see the difference right away. It doesn't have as many icons or buttons. It has certain labels that are easier to detect and know which to press. And this is just a temporary window. If you want to create a desktop shortcut, you can do that, we can create it on the desktop or we can select permanently enable classic file explorer and you can just open up the task manager then go and search here for explorer and restart the explorer process that uses more memory because that is the main one we started and whenever you're opening up the file explorer now you're going to notice that it will automatically have the old ribbon enabled for the file explorer if that's what you want. Of course if you don't like it and if you want to go back just uncheck this again open up the task manager type in here explorer and restart start the task to get the default look of the file explorer yet again. And as you can see, as easy as that, have the default look again. Also in this version, in the behavior section and then adds and unwanted apps, there was added a new disabling option. If you have this enabled, you can also enable app and website ads in the recommended section of start to no longer get things like, of course, app and website ads from the Microsoft store or verified websites by Microsoft. I think that is also pretty nice. Also another thing in the Microsoft Edge section, you have disable annoyances and bloat and you have a whole bunch of useful things that you can disable on Microsoft Edge for example auto import from browsers you can disable so the sidebar you can disable rewards shopping many context many quick links and more you can play around with it of course and see what you want and it's really really simple to use as I've said I think this is really useful because Microsoft Edge is getting a bit bloated if you ask me I'm not using it but I open it once in a while maybe accidentally and I see how it looks I do not like it to be honest in the context menu section and then of course look for remove default entries. In this version, Winero Tweaker adds the option to disable edit in notepad and edit in clipchamp. For example, clipchamp I think it's pretty useless here, but maybe edit in notepad is a button that is pretty useful. So you can just check edit in clipchamp. And of course, you'll get the option to sign out to be able to disable this. Inside tools and system restore, you have a button that you can use quickly to restart to advanced startup options. And I think that is also pretty good. And in this app, of course, there are a lot of fixes that you can check out on their official website, but I think the features and the options that they've added are pretty useful. You can play around with it on a virtual machine or even on your main computer. For example, as I've said, I'm right now using Windows 11 24H2. It's working without any issues, so you can even use it on Windows 11 24H2 on the release PV channel. I'm not going to guarantee that it's working on the latest inside of builds from the dev or canary channels because those are highly experimental, but on the stable, let's call it like that, version of Windows 11 24H2, it should work properly. So, as I've said, if you want to check out Winero Tweaker, check out the article below or just winero.com or search them on Google. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.